John, Paul Manafort, the, the leader of Trump's group, uh, the campaign, told a small group of Republican lawmakers Thursday he's expecting Ryan to endorse uh, Trump as early as this week. What do you think? Well, that may be true. There was a, uh, some pushback from a Ryan aide anonymously today that he hasn't made a formal decision yet. Um, but I do think it would be somewhat embarrassing for Ryan to come out and, and come out and endorse Trump right now because remember what he said right away. He said he didn't want some sort of fake unification. You know, he wanted to make sure that our standard bearer bear, bears our standards. Um, you know, there, there hasn't been any change at all in what Donald Trump has stood for in the last month. Um, in terms of policy and, and more importantly on matters of character and temperament, uh, Trump isn't making it any easier for Ryan to get behind him. Just this week he was floating a, a, a conspiracy theory that has been uh, definitively disproven that the Clintons were somehow involved in the death of an aide, Vince Foster. Um, you know, this kind of conspiracy theorizing uh, has, has been a hallmark of Trump and it really doesn't strike many people as presidential. Um, for, for Ryan to come out and just go ahead and endorse him when nothing at all has changed, um, I think that's just going to be very embarrassing well, for the speaker. He's got to endorse him at some point, right? I mean, I mean, what do you guys think? Does he I mean, have to come around at some point? At some yes. point, the question is going to be at some point he's probably going to get on board. The question is will it be at arm's length or will it be a warm embrace, right? Because um, Ryan's in a bit of a fix here. The party is really moving behind Donald Trump quickly. He doesn't want to be off that Trump train. But look, he, he's raising some serious issues and moving more methodically. As, as John said, is Donald Trump moving to meet him? I don't know. but. See, you Ryan get, seems to be on a pathway there. It's just a question of how warm an embrace it is. He gives like. away any kind of bargaining power. I mean, yeah. Donald Trump is the master negotiator, right? Paul Ryan gives away any bargaining power he has if he jumps on too quickly yeah. Yeah. in terms of talking okay. about entitlements, in terms of talking about cutting spending, and getting some of his agenda on the Trump agenda. And the, the differences are around free trade and immigration. What is he going to get on free trade and immigration, knowing that these are Donald Trump's major platforms? I I think he could get more, though, in terms of fixing entitlements, right. which is been. That, yes. you, you're starting to see a Maybe little bit of movement on that. Maybe right. that said, I'm not touching Social Security, and then you had Sam Clovis that mm -hmm. has talked about talked about reforming entitlements. Yeah. He's at least floated that idea. Yeah. Oh, somewhere down the road, so you're starting to see a little I bit. Think and if he's going to implement this tax plan with 15% corporate tax, which I think would be a game changer for markets, mm -hmm. uh, you got to come up with a way to pay for it. Maybe, no, maybe that's. And I think that's where there's wiggle, wiggle room. Uh, and I think that's probably what Speaker Ryan is playing for right now. But I think he also needs to be careful to not overplay his hand. He needs to recognize. He needs I to, agree with that. He needs yeah. to acknowledge what the people have said and the people have spoken definitively. I think he needs to also acknowledge that he's no longer the Republican Party leader. Donald Trump, as of now, presumptively, is the Republican Party leader. And, and uh, so, it, you know, the kingmaker is no longer Speaker Ryan, as much as I respect him. And I think he's a great guy. And I, I think mm -hmm. he's playing this well so far. But he better be very careful. John, let me get this uh, to you. As we get closer to the general election, the rhetoric on the campaign trail is getting uglier and uglier. Listen to this. These are the candidates taking shots at each other. I want to get your take about what the next six months looks like. Listen to this. Hillary cannot even put away Bernie. She can't put him away. Crooked Hillary. She can't put him away. And it's going to be a mess. And it's getting worse and worse. I had also hoped that Secretary Clinton would have kept her word and agreed to engage in a debate. I think that the people of the largest state now a country deserve to hear how the candidates feel about the issues. Ama so many things to say. <laughs> Amazing what Bernie Sanders is doing to Hillary Clinton, number one. I mean, who would have expected that? And does this just, is this just a summer of, you know, back and forth? Ugly jazz. I think so. You know, politics has always been a rough and tumble sport uh, since the beginning of this country. Uh, but you do sort of see a, a coarsening of, of the debate. I don't know if it's the Internet era or Donald Trump in particular. I think that there was some speaker last night at the rally, not Trump himself, who made some really crass and vulgar comment about how, you know, even Bill Clinton chose a different woman than Hillary. It's just um, I, you don't know what the next low is going to be, but you definitely know it's going to get lower. All right. We will leave it there. John, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much. Thank you. John McCormick there.